Hey everyone! Cyclone Studio released a new version with some awesome new updates and new workflows. Additionally, your clients can benefit from the new Cyclone Studio viewer. Today, I will show you the scan to plan workflow to create quick and easily floor plans and sections. Alright, let's get to it. So here we have our point cloud. This one is a BLCAT Go dataset from a school. So we walked and captured it and we want to get a floor plan today out of it. So that means we're taking advantage of the new workflow called Scan to Plan in Cyclone Studio, which you can find under Extract. You can simply pick the point cloud and say Scan to Plan to get the command started. That means in the options we have our point cloud which can be single point cloud you can also select multiple point clouds you can choose your slice direction for floor plan we want to have z direction sort of a nice horizontal slice and we can choose if we want to have regular or individual uh, steps for our slice location i'm going here with individually and pick where i want to create my section also want to notice we have new the picking tools are now appearing on the bottom of the screen always and directly available okay so i'm picking here more to the top of the rooms because usually there's a space where i can have a nice slice and nothing is in the way but when we're already here if we do the slice it's not a definite slice we can still add it and adjust it because i can see here the beams so I don't want to slice through the beams, I'm just going a little bit lower so that I get a nice slice through it. I'm happy how it looks, so I just go to compute and then we're following the next step. That means we want to start extracting our data. With a nice slice, we start on the top left and we can auto extract or manually extract. The value in the auto extraction is ready to your thinnest walls in there, but you can also go with the default value. So it's time for extracting it. So we can see here we pick just the seed point and automatically a polyline is created around the interim of the rooms. So this one we can quickly do for all of them. So I got my first lines. What I will do now, I notice, okay, the lines are not completely finished. So I can manually edit my um, polylines. So I can, on the left hand side, I see the list of it. And here's also a new feature when I want to edit it. So I can make perpendicular points to it, insert new points, or I can simply stretch it along the line, as you can see. But instead of saying, I did not such a good slice and do it all manually, I can actually create multiple slices. And then on each of those slices, I can pick the best out of it and then copy and paste from one slice to another. Or you have a multiple floor building, hotel. So you can also repetitive layouts, copy paste between the levels and only need to do those which are really needed. That means we increase the productivity by saving a lot of time. Another part what you can see here that in some cases I have a lot of points and vertices on my outline. I can use a resample tool to actually get a minimum amount of vertices on each line. To not get confused, we can also rename our polylines or we can also change the color of it and we can also multi-select them and change it accordingly. That's already it. So the question is, how does a vertical section look like with the same process?
as you can see the workflow if it's horizontal or vertical is not dif uh, much different so the final step what we need to do is to export as a dxf or send it to our cut to make further adjustments or add additional layers i hope you liked the new workflow and can use it in your own projects if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up leave a comment let me know what you want to see next or if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel see you next time bye